Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai guys. It could be multiple uh, models of Hyundai and you need to replace transmission solenoid. Stay with us, we'll explain how to do that step by step. It will work on multiple uh, multiple uh, models Hyundai because that exact same transmission has been used with some minor differences in torque and horsepower specs for the transmission but the valve body solenoids, almost everything is about the same. So you can find that transmission on Hyundai uh, a certain year and models Hyundai Accent, uh, Veloster, Hyundai Sonata, Elantra, Tucson and Santa Fe as well here in the United States. Before we start let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get to the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return please subscribe to the channel, like the video that way we can keep making these free videos for you. Now if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So with that being said let's explain how to do that specifically. Okay now First, uh, that transmission has been used in Hyundai and Kia vehicles. It's been developed together by Hyundai practically and Kia is a sister company so uh, uh, the same transmission will be used in Kia vehicles. Uh, before we get to the solenoids what we'll need to do, okay we need to remove the open and drain the transmission fluid. Let's do that and then we'll continue with the next step. This is, as I said, Hyundai Sonata. That's the transmission. Now that same transmission is called the A6 MF I believe it's the M A uh, A6MF transmission, one is A6LM I believe, uh, the one that's for the more powerful engine, but this is the transmission guys, uh, you can find it on the 1.2, uh, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, 2.0, 2.4, 3.3, .3, 3.8 .3 engine, I believe even the 4.0 engine uses it as well. This is a transmission, this is your oil pan. So we'll be making videos about anything about that transmission. So how you drain it guys? Now this is the check plug right here for the level. We'll have a special video how to check and add transmission fluid. But right here, okay, this, okay, let's see a 24 millimeter socket guys. And right here there is one huge bolt, okay, that we need to actually pre-loosen. So uh, let's go ahead, okay, do that, we're going to we loosen that ball and we'll be able okay to drain the transmission now so that's what we'll be doing uh, make sure that you have eye protection gloves because it will come fast guys okay the transmission will drain really quick that's pretty big hole okay and it will be really tight as well perfect now it will go by hand at that point check it out okay <laughs> it will be a mess everywhere. So let's see. Alright, right there. Transmission is draining now. So we will let it drain. It will come out pretty quick. And then uh, I will recommend guys, okay, check out on the inside. That's a magnetic plug, always guys clean it. Okay, you can see this is a magnetic plug and you can see all the things coming out and that, uh, that's shavings because of the transmission shifting, clutches wearing out, all that stuff. So you need to clean it, okay, uh, really good, okay, before you install it. And uh, in some cases you might need to replace it if it's warm, okay, and you might need to replace, okay, uh, we might need to replace the washer here so it can see you good as well. So, <clears throat> we drain the oil guys. Now, let's explain here. 10 millimeter, we're going to remove that bracket, okay? This is for the wires as you can see. So we're going to, okay, put those up a little bit. Now we're going to install the bolt so we don't lose it. Now, next, we have quite a few 10 millimeter, okay, bolts here. We're going to remove that clip from right here. It's the one, okay, that if you, uh, if you squish these two things on the back side together, okay, it will come out so you don't have to break it. Okay, check it out. You can use clip remover too as well, but sometimes it will break though, so you have to be careful. And we're going to tie them up, okay, for the uh, clamp, maybe for the throttle body there, for the intake holes, so we have all that room. Now, you can do that with everything in the vehicle practically with the radiators and stuff but why we're doing it that way so we can demonstrate otherwise you will not be able to see almost anything at all now let's go ahead okay and uh, start with the pliers we're going to disconnect that vent holes there so gentle because that's plastic okay perfect 
<laughs> excuse me, we'll pull it out. Now I just noticed that somebody forgot to put a ground wire there. So that's a loose wire that needs to be reconnected later. Okay, perfect. So that's why it's always good to work on your own vehicle so you know what you messed up yourself. So we're going to start removing all the bolts now. Have a container, even though you drain the fluid, you still leak some out. Be prepared, always use gloves. You don't want those chemicals on your hands. So, just gently go ahead, remove one by one the boat, quite a few boats. Okay, let's hold it on the last one just in case to make sure that nothing drops now it may be stuck a little bit it really depends we okay we'll go ahead okay let's see if we can gently pull it out okay check out all the fluid that came out i told you you will always leak some more fluid so be prepared and the oil pan okay with the gasket practically okay comes out now <coughs> everything inside okay is right here we'll have videos about the valve body Okay, I will have uh, videos about solenoids, where each solenoid is, if you're not shifting into certain gear with solenoid to check how to test solenoids, uh, output, tra out output and input uh, speed sensors, all that will be there. Now, that's how we remove the oil pan. So, the solenoids are right under here, that's the wiring harness for the solenoid, so with a uh, 10, uh, uh, 10 millimeter socket we're going to remove one bolt for the uh, temperature sensor, the fluid, transmission fluid, temperature sensor, two bolts for the harness on the left side, we have one more there. Now that harness gets in the solenoid, so all we have to do, just pretty much, gently, okay, pull it, without bending things, get the sensor out, put it on the side. Those are the solenoids, practically, you cannot remove them now, why guys, because uh, you need to remove, okay, all these, okay, torque bolts. So, Let's go ahead, okay, do that, we'll remove the bolts and uh, there will be a lock plate here, okay, once we remove it. So 5 millimeter Allen wrench and we're going to go ahead, okay, and do that. So that's what we need to do. Next, those, the good thing about those, most of them, Okay, when we produce in them, they will go by hand pretty easy. Uh, we have a special video about the uh, solenoid diagram and which solenoid is for certain gears, torque converters and all that stuff. So one bolt is out now. Uh, we're going to remove the rest of them. We'll get the impact so we can save you a little bit of time. So we just have four more to go. Perfect. Now that plate will come out, you grab it, it comes out. Later when you install it guys, you need to make sure that uh, you can see on the, uh, on the plate itself, we have those tabs that need to fit in the solenoid. So it makes sure that the solenoid are not twisted, turn around and that they fit inside you need to push them in okay you need to push them in and center everything but in case you need to replace solenoids okay now it's uh, you can see uh, you will be able to do it now if you need to do this solenoid this or this you need to remove the bolt next to it but <laughs> hope don't do that other than that the solenoids come out okay you can see uh, pretty pretty easily guys okay the only ones okay these three you have to remove one bolt from the valve body okay to just remove it so uh, that's how we do it if you need help with anything let us know hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to do that thank you for watching and see you next time